Hey, what's up, everyone? This is OK Chief, and sweet Christmas, I got mail. OK, guys, so I've still been getting packages throughout my hiatus here on YouTube. A lot of this is from my awesome friend, Eric Roth. Um, he goes to a lot of toy shows up in Minneapolis, Minnesota. So he takes pictures of them, and then he sends me all the good stuff that's there, and I pick and choose what it is that I want through the pics that he sends me, and Eric being a good dealer that he is, gets me some sweet deals, and he has gotten me some sweet deals. There's a lot of good stuff in these boxes. One of these boxes is from my awesome friend Dana, who I've known for a very long time as well. We'll get to his package. I'll probably do his first, since the rest are just going to be Eric's. So uh, without further ado, guys, let's just jump into all this 80s and 90s goodness. Okay guys, first up is my friend Dana's box. Now I've decided to just put the box on the side of the camera here and just show you one by one because the box pretty much takes up 75% of the screen that you are watching. So along with the thing that I bought from him, he sent in a couple of goodies. So I'm going to show the little goodies first and then I'm going to show the main thing uh, here in a second. So one of the little goodies that he sent was this Star Wars figure from The Force Awakens. Uh, if you guys don't remember, uh, this is the uh, junk dealer that Ray Rhea gets uh, her food rations from, and his name is Uncar Plut. This is actually a very famous actor that plays this character. He's just under a lot of makeup. He's uh, his name eludes me at the moment, but he's from Shaun of the Dead, so uh, that's a cool item there. Secondly, he sent this little Joker from Imaginex. Always can use an, an Imaginex Joker because I'm always coming up with uh, Imaginex stuff. He also sent in that package a Senator Palpatine uh, figure from, I believe this is Burger King, back in 2000 and some, 2005. This is from 2005, still sealed. We have a Solomon Grundy, also a Burger King kids meal toy. We ha I don't know this one. If you guys know who this is, please let me know down in the comments. He's also from Burger King, 2017 or 2018. It says in the back, let me know. And then finally, for the small trinkets that he sent, is this Transformer. Nice. Now, to get to what he actually sent, what I actually bought from him, was this cool Urkel board game. Check it out. Now, my friend uh, Sammy Alivampour, a long time ago, I just checked my uh, storage room and I remember that I actually did have this one, but I, it never hurts to have doubles, am I correct? So this is the old school Urkel game. If you guys don't know who Urkel is, for all you young cats, look him up. He's a really cool character from the 80s and 90s, or I think he's from the 90s. They had a show called uh, Family Matters and he was on it. If you also don't know, he is uh, the voice of Sonic the Hedgehog from the cartoons in the 90s. So I just wanted to show you really quick the board game and all it entails. I believe uh, James and Mike's did a board game. Uh, James and Mi uh, Mike or James Board Games did an episode on this board game. So if you want to see how it plays, check out that video. So on to the next three, uh, three cases from Eric Roth. Give me a second. Okay, next up is my friend Eric's packages. He sent about three of them. So in no particular order, I'm just going to be pulling out stuff from all the boxes until we get through everything. First up, we have this sick Turtles cookies jar. I remember this as a kid, you guys. So inside were these chocolate cookies that were in the shape of the turtles, and they were delicious. Now, once you finish the cookie jar, it doubles as a bank. Check that out. So you can just keep this year round. They have Leonardo. They have all the turtles. They have uh, Raph, Mikey, and Donatello. They're all color-based as well. Um, so that's really awesome. So at the moment, I just have uh, Leonardo. But what came as a surprise is when you open it up, the seller actually had this inside. I don't know if it was an extra or what, but um, it's a cool nightlight, a Michelangelo nightlight from 1989. You can see that there. Look at that. That is so cool, you guys. Oh, my God. And it does work. I plugged this in earlier, and it has a faint light, but it does work, you guys. Okay, next up is this 1988 Turtles Cheapskate vehicle, as you can see there. This is another awesome find that Eric found at the toy show. Really cheap, you guys. Uh, the only thing it's missing, I believe, is the uh, sewer shield. That one that came with uh, Rocksteady. But other than that, this thing is immaculate. Look at the stickers. They're not even, the muffler stickers are usually like sticking out. But not this one. And the flag is really nice and crisp. Look at that. No cracks. 
nothing it's beautiful it's a it's in great shape and yes the foot that works the foot stomper <laughs> it's just it works on a lever you hold this back and then let go and it holds and then if you push it upwards it retracts so yeah this thing is awesome you guys okay up next is this sick street fighters general m bison figure this is awesome. They came out with this line back in the 90s, and you can collect all those characters from the Street Fighter series. I love it. Okay, so the next set of figures that I'm going to be showing you are all from the American Gladiators uh, TV show back in the 90s, late 80s, early 90s. So, oh my god, I love this show. If you guys don't know, go ahead and look up an episode on YouTube. It was where normal people get to compete against these huge, huge muscle-bound men and women from uh, the 90s. And they were called the American Gladiators. Now, this guy's name was Turbo. We've got a Turbo in the house. We have... Oh, and this is what I was telling you about. Just normies. This is a challenger. There was a red contestant and a blue contestant. They had blue uh, tights and a red tights, and this is the red one. I love that they come with those accessories because that was an actual... That one right there was an actual game on the on the show. Here goes Gemini. And again, there goes that red, that red pole there. That was, like I said, there's a blue one and a red one, and uh, they can go at it on these pedestals. Gemini was cool. Gemini was old school, guys. Look, they even got the likeness on him. That is awesome. So there goes Gemini. And then finally here we have a Nitro. Oh, man. Look at that. See, he's got a zip line right there. So I think that's really cool. That goes to the obstacle course at the end. So does Turbo. Turbo has a red or blue zip line there. So that is neat. Okay, so the next set of figures we have here is from one of the most classic movie series from the 80s. And it's from Police Academy. If you don't remember who LeVar Jones was, then you ain't old enough to be watching this video. <laughs> I'm just kidding, y'all. This guy was a character and a half, which is why they, they sent him in this packaging with that bullhorn. If you guys go back to the movies and references, he is a voice, like a ventriloquist type of a character, where he can make all kinds of sounds and voices. And he used to use that microphone a lot in the movie series to trick Officer um, Mahoney. No, Mahoney was a good guy. The, oh, Proctor was the dumbass that followed the, oh, I can't remember his name. Oh, that sucks. But these guys were amazing. Uh, if you can find the whole line, man, I, I suggest you do so. Aside from LeVar Jones, he sent me Eugene Tackleberry. Tackleberry was very famous for having that huge gun right there. He would, I mean, just decimate with that gun in that series. Everybody loved him, and he was just one of the coolest uh, tactical people in that series. So... Here's my two Police Academy starting figures right now. I'm going to collect more, but for right now, I have these two awesome figures. All right, next up, we have Crash Dummies. Now, for the longest time, I could have sworn these guys were called uh, Crash Test Dummies, but apparently the packaging says otherwise. If you guys don't remember, back in the 90s, I believe, they came out with this cartoon series uh, with Crash Test Dummies where they would go out and uh, crash cars and they would all fall apart while well, they made a toy line Tyco made this toy line from them and these are just awesome now these guys are built to break apart if i can remember correctly and there's the whole line right there guys really cool really expensive line once you start getting down to the vehicles uh hopefully one day i will have the entire line but for right now i just have these two we have vice it says or Vince, I'm sorry, explodes on impact. See, once you crash into him, crash him into something, his arms explode and his, his legs explode. They all come out. And uh, yeah, these are really cool toys, you guys. This guy's called Jackhammer. Okay, next up, we have this sick Jim Henson's Muppet Babies board game. Oh, and he sent me a picture of this. Guys, let me tell you, I went gaga over it. It's in excellent condition. Well, I wouldn't say excellent, but <clears throat> it is in fair condition. And it's complete. That's all I care about, really. And it's just a match game. <clears throat> it's a simple game for, obviously, children. It's just match them up. But for the fact, the simple fact... Come on, guys. Open up. I just want to show you the board game or the board really quick because it's so cool. Look at this. It's so cool. All the pieces are there. They're down They're down underneath here. It's complete. And uh, I think I got this for like 6 or $7. Man, when he told me that, I said, here you go, brother. Put that into my shopping cart. I love these old school nostalgic pictures of stuff from the 80s and 90s that I grew up. I watched Muppet Babies growing up, guys. So this was a no-brainer to add to the collection. I know you are, but what am I? 
This is so cool, you guys. So I picked up this Talking Pee Wee Herman doll from Eric. I couldn't believe it when he showed me that he had this Talking Pee Wee in the box, still sealed. If you can see around his neck, it still has the wire tie. So he hasn't been open. He's in really good condition. The box is in fair condition, but he himself is in excellent condition. I, I, if I stand him up, he's going to be out of frame. That's why I was kind of trying to keep him sideways. But for the most part, this guy is awesome. And as you heard, his pull string on the back here. Look at how he sounds after so many years. Come on, Pee Wee, we know that. So yeah, the voice box on this is incredible, you guys. I love this one. Thank you so much, Eric, for finding me this. We have this sweet mask uh, lunchbox from the 1980s. I think it's from 85. Is it from 85? Yep, it's from 1985. This was one of my favorite cartoons growing up. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the thermos. It just came with the lunchbox. But I love that picture of the rhino there. Oh my god, that's my favorite my all-time favorite vehicle i actually own a rhino so i'm really happy to have this in my collection this is so awesome thank you duplicate uh mask lunchbox unfortunately this one as well does not have the thermos but that's quite all right i have um very very nostalgic for these lunch boxes so i'll take them whichever way they come they were cheap too guys they're like five bucks a piece so for that price you're not gonna leave them Following along with the lunchbox theme, we have a Jurassic Park 3 lunchbox, and I was lucky enough to get this one with its thermos. God, you have no idea how hard it is to get lunchboxes with their original thermoses. Man, and then they charge an arm and a leg for having the thermos there. So, really lucky on having that one. And finally, for the lunchboxes, we have a TMNT lunchbox. This is neat. I've never seen it. I've seen a bunch of Turtles lunchboxes, but I've never seen one with this sticker on it. Fortunately, it came with its thermos. Oh man, this is so cool. You have no idea how happy I am that the Turtles lunchbox that I got from Eric has the thermos. All the other ones are all right, but this one with the thermos makes it all worthwhile. And for five bucks, guys, you can't beat that. Okay, guys, next up, uh, Eric sent me this awesome Moss Man from Motu or Masters of the Universe, for those of you who don't know. This is basically um, the mold for Beast Man. They just flocked him and <laughs> turned him into Moth, Moss Man. I'm sorry, M-O-S-S, -S, Moss Man. And um, he feels weird because obviously flock is just weird feeling on your, feet, on your hands here. But uh, man, for him to have survived in this good of condition for so long, and he has this weapon. So yeah, he found me a Moss Man with his weapon on the cheap, you guys. This is awesome. I loved Moss Man. Uh, the figure back then i never had him my cousin had him so now i'm reunited with this awesome memory thank you eric i told you did i not there was going to be some awesome 80s and 90s goodness up in those boxes you guys so here we have a package of what is 28 figures from muscles you guys remember muscles oh my goodness guys growing up in the 80s these were the thing to have they used to come in little clear garbage cans and um, there goes the rustling ring. My brother got that for one of his birthdays. And uh, one, unfortunately, there's like these two little pegs that go on each side where you clip the figure on. And those arms are notorious for breaking off. And once you do that, this pretty much becomes a shelf uh, display because um, the only other way to, to play it is to rubber band the figures on to those. But then you can't play because... Uh, the figure won't fall off, so one person will wind up winning all the time since the figures are uh, tied down to the stick there. Because you used to go back and forth, and when they would hit each other, the friction would break off one of the arms from that. So it wasn't a very good design, but it was fun nonetheless, you guys. And oh my god, just nostalgia running through my veins right now, just looking at all these characters. This is so cool. Now, you want to talk about a blast from the past? sweet christmas my brother my little brother had this as one of his costumes when he was growing up and this just brought back all kinds of memories of taking my little brother to go um uh, uh, trick-or-treating on halloween and he would wear this and this just brought back so many memories golly thank you so much eric for these memories this is so cool this was from 1988 my brother would have been six years old great in this now you see this box it's in like fairly good condition well that's because i spent a good time putting it back together this this plastic piece here was just loose so i wound up putting um some repair time into this and i fixed the box the box was all broken but i glued it all back together the plastic the sides all of it and um 
I wound up fixing a lot of the the cracks that were going on with some black markers, so you can't even tell that this was repaired. But look at that. that the, the way I received it, it wasn't like that, guys. So there goes the mask. Unfortunately, the, the little rubber band that goes in the back is missing, but that's quite all right because that's an easy fix as well. But I just wanted to show you guys. Check that out. <laughs> this is highly flammable. So for those of you who don't know, back in the 80s, they didn't let you stand next to a stove uh, because you could go up like a match. The carded figures are all going to be from the X-Men line, Toy Biz. And uh, the reason I picked all these up was because Eric found all these figures for like three or four bucks carded, you guys. Now, I know that a lot of people are like, oh, why Toy Biz? Well, you know, Toy Biz is coming back, man. These X-Men figures, there's a lot of people asking for these. And down here in Texas, they're getting really expensive. But up in Minneapolis, or in Minnesota, guys, it's pretty cheap up there. So uh, I told them, go ahead and pick them all up for me. Here we have Polaris. Uh, she was from X Factor. Love this, love that character. Next up, we have a GW Bridge. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember this character at all, but the card is great, and for three bucks, wasn't gonna leave them, guys. Here we have someone called <laughs> Random. <laughs> Again, another figure I don't remember back from the day. Uh, he wasn't in the cartoon series, so I, I don't remember who this is. Next up, we have someone called Kane. Kind of looks like, um, oh, what's his name uh, from the X-Men? Uh, uh, Colossus. He has the same arms as Colossus there. So cool. Now, this guy I do remember. This is Warpath. He was... I believe he was on X... Oh, he's on X-Force. That's what it was. And, uh, yeah, he turns into, like, a huge giant for his for his mutant powers. He came out in the series as well. Next up, we have Storm. Dang, look at that costume. This is so cool. I have her in this uniform, and now I have her in the gray uniform. So, there's that. And then here's another Warpath. This is a different type. See the difference? Look at the size of one and the other. Jeez, look what a difference that is. But these are the same characters, but just different moldings. That's weird. Another box. There's more of these Toy Biz figures, guys. Wow, I've got quite the collection of carded and loose Toy Biz figures. Now, here is Strong Guy. He was also in one. I think he was in X, X Factor or X Force. I can't remember. Jeez, Louise, I can't remember. It's been so long. But wow, this guy's freaking heavy. So there's that guy. We have an Archangel. If you guys remember, he was in the movies as well, as long as along with um, him being in the cartoon series. And at first he had real wings, but then uh, Apocalypse turned him into this guy, one of his uh, four horsemen. Here we have a Wolverine um, Weapon X. So look at <laughs> look at his, his uh, helmet there. That's so cool. I have one loose. But his helmet doesn't go on anymore because it looked like someone stepped on his helmet. But luckily this one's carded and it has it on. No one stepped on this one. So cool. Here we have Morph. Now for those of you who don't remember Morph, he was one of the throwaway characters from one of the first episodes of X-Men in the 90s. If you remember, he died right away. But then, spoiler alert, he came back in like season 3 or 4 with Mr. Sinister where he like... Uh, picked him up from the ground when the sentinels killed him and he revived him back and he turned him into an evil x-men and uh, wolverine tried to uh bring him back because i was a really good friend of wolverine and i believe they give him different heads because he can morph into anyone he sees so that was his power it's a really cool character i don't know why they killed him off right away it was so dumb and then finally for the x-men stuff we have this sweet X-Men Wolverine Mutant Cycle. Oh, this is so cool. Now, if you take a look in there, it's still sealed. Well, not sealed, sealed, but he's still in his... It's still in the um, tie, uh, the wire ties. So it doesn't look like this has been played with ever. Look at that. So cool, you guys. Guys, Eric is just... Oh, my God. He finds the coolest toys on the cheap. I can't remember what he said this was. This was like... I'm not, I think it was no more than 10 but no more than 5 as well. So it was like 5 to $10 for this boxed Wolverine Mutant Psycho. Oh, I'm not going to pass that up at all. We are down to the last two items that my friend Eric has sent me in the mail. So, yeah, I'm down with carded um, TMNT figures. 
and Eric knows this. Eric knows my collection. He knows which turtles I have and which ones I don't. He knows which ones I have carded, and he knew that I didn't have a, pon a panda con, so he sent me a carded panda con. <laughs> this is so cool. This is an excellent condition. Look at how straight that card is, guys. There's nothing wrong with the clamshell as well. Oh, this is so cool. And then finally, the last item he sent was this sewer cycling raft. Look at this. The card is awesome. It's unpunched, guys. Oh, this is so cool. Wow, Eric really came through. Like I said, he goes to these toy shows and he takes a ton of pictures and I just go shopping in the pictures. I go, I want that, I want that, I want that. And I PayPal him and he sends me the stuff. So that's really cool. Thank you so much, Eric. Thank you so much, Dana, for being there. You guys rock like no one else. Love you guys. Guys, thank you so much for watching. This is OK Chief. I hope I brought a smile to your faces with all this 90s and 80s nostalgia. Let me know if you guys had any of these um, as toys as kids down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. This is OK Chief. Peace out, y'all.